Hi, I salute you all Zelium community, I am Zamel6 and I present you this video which is a full guide on how to install Windows Wallet, and set up a master node on Linux VPS server, for Zelium coin, requirements. Zelium Wallet running on your local computer with at least 4000 Zelium for collateral for the master node. Root shell or VPS server on another machine with open ports for master nodes, port 31090. Bitvisi Tunnelia or another software that allow you to connect to remote servers. Let's get started. Step 1, download and install Windows Wallet on your local machine. Go to official website at zelium.go.nz, click on wallets and download latest version available. When download complete, click on it to install it. You can leave the default location, or use your preferences. This is optional. If the Windows firewall pops up, click on allow access. While we wait to sync, we can enable some features of the wallet, go to settings, options. Then select wallet window, here check, coin control features and show master nodes tab. Next thing you need to do when wallet is fully sync, is to encrypt your wallet. Choose a strong password, and make sure never to lose it, or you may lose all your coins. After encryption wallet must be restarted. After restart you can unlock your wallet for staking and anonymization. Step 2, deposit 4000 coins into your wallet for master node collateral, to do so. You must first go to receive window, and click request payments then copy that address. Next go to send. Paste the address to pay to, name your label master node 1, then enter 4000 in the amount. Now click on send, enter your password and make sure you don't check the field for staking. Now press enter and make sure you have the extra amount, to cover transaction fees. Ok, you are doing great so far. Now we wait at least 3 confirmations on transaction for the next step. Step 3. Go to tools menu, then click debug console and type in masternode genki. Now type masternode outputs. You select, and copy the results to a notepad text file. Step 4, prepare VPS server and get the software for remote connection. Go visit the website, voltra.com and create new account. Make sure you got enough PayPal money, to pay for first 2 months. They accept Bitcoin payments only after first payment with PayPal or credit cards. Click on servers. Then choose your preferred location. On server type choose Ubuntu version 16. At server size you should choose at least $5 plan, with 25 GB memory. On additional features, select enable IPv6. Name your host name Zelium underscore MN1. Click deploy and then finish the payments. After the payment is confirmed, it should take about one hour, for the server to be completed. When server is ready, you should save to text file the following, VPS server IP, user and password. Step 5. 
download and install Bitwise Tunlia, and connect to remote server. For download, use the link below, or do a Google search. After the download is complete, go ahead and install it to your local computer. Now you can use your host server IP, user and password to connect and configure Linux Wallet. To prepare server and install Linux Wallet we will use a script that will be available for download on official Zelium website. You will find the link below in the description. Go ahead and copy script from your computer to remote server. Next we need to unzip the script on Linux server. Use the following command, tar xzf, nzl underscore script dot tgz, do not unzip and edit the script to your Windows computer, or else will fail to run on Linux server. Now go ahead and run the script. Congratulations! You are 90% done. This operation should take a while, between 30 to 45 minutes. After a while, the script will prompt you to press enter to continue, or control C to cancel. You press enter. Wallet install is completed. Step 6. Edit config files on remote server and local computer wallet. Go to .zelium folder and right click on zelium.conf then choose edit. The zelium config file will be also available for download. You just have to change the followings. RPC user, just put your name, RPC password, choose a strong password no need to remember it. Next change IP, with your remote server IP address, the VPS. At last, copy, and paste private master node key, that was earlier generated in Windows Wallet. Then choose save, and close. Now Linux Wallet is ready to start. Go to Linux terminal, and type the next commands, pwd, this shows your current location, this should be root, next type ls semicolon all. Now, you can see Zelium folder. cd Zelium, cd src. Now to start type in, dot, backslash, zeliumd. Zelium server started. This commands will be also included for download, just copy and paste it in Linux terminal. To paste into Linux use right mouse click. Next type in dot backslash zelium semicolon cli space get info. This will show your wallet info. 
To see your wallet status, type in dot backslash Zelium semicolon CLI space master node space status. You should allow time for wallet to fully sync before it shows that is staking. Final step. Go back to local Windows wallet. Go to Tools, Open Master Node Configuration File, and Edit Next. First change the IP 127.0.0.2, with your Linux server IP address, second, paste the private key, that was generated earlier, last, copy the TX hash and output IDX and paste it on the last row. Go to file and, save. Now close the file and wallet, then restart the wallet again. When wallet starts go to master node tab. Your master node should appear there. If everything is done correctly, now you should click start alias, then start all, and your master node status should change to pre-enabled. Just in case your status is missing, then go to debug console and type in master node start missing node. Now your status should be enabled. Wait for a while, to see the active counter starts. Congratulations! You are now a master node owner. One final tip. Remember when we enabled coin control feature? Go to send tab, then click inputs. Click on list mode, and now you should see first, the amount that you sent for master node. This should have a lock locked on in front. This is to prevent that address to accumulate stakes and destroy the master node. In case you want to close master node, and use these coins, you select first, then click on toggle lock state. That's all. Thank you for watching. I would also like to thank Stazelium team, Bitcoin Minion, and Bastude, for this great project.